Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. It's March 2018, the weather is shocking here in the UK and I can't fly. So while I'm waiting for some parts to arrive for a few builds, I thought I'd do a roundup of new and interesting upcoming products in the world of FPV. The Omnibus Fireworks flight controller is now in public test. I guess that just means beta really. This is a fascinating new direction in flight controller hardware that's using the 6-axis ICM20608 motion tracker from TDK. This is basically a 3-axis gyroscope and a 3-axis accelerometer in a low power consumption and low noise package. And it uses FIFO buffering to work perfectly so you get a 32k gyro loop time. The MCU is the F405 that's been used very successfully on other F4 flight controller boards. It's got a digital current sensor and a built-in camera LC filter. And you can power it straight off a 4 to 6S LiPo battery. It looks like it's been designed around the gyro damping box rather than just adding a crude piece of foam as an afterthought. And it will be interesting to see it in the flesh. While we're on the subject of flight controller boards in beta test, the Asgard 32 seems to be the next gen of all-in-one boards. Not only is it an F4 flight controller using an STM405 MCU like the Omnibus Fireworks, it's got 6 UARTs, a 5 volt battery eliminator circuit, barometer, OSD and a direct 4 to 6S LiPo connection, but it's also got an integrated 4-in-1 BL Heli 35 amp ESC with ESC telemetry on board. It's incredible. I've always found all-in-one boards a bit on the noisy side due to the PCB layout and how close sensitive components are to noisy ones, but the latest products, they're getting really good. And Emacs have got a new bind and fly racer quad out. This looks to be in response to the excellent ready to fly racer quads that Diatone have been releasing. The Hawk 5 looks to be a super clean build racer quad with an F4 flight controller with OSD, BL Heli 30 amp ESCs, an FR Sky XM receiver, Foxeer Arrow Micro and a 48 channel switchable VTX and of course Emacs LS2206 2300 kV motors. And this looks like a large Viflight X150 with its thin arms. They've got some fancy new even flow 5 inch props designed for control and efficiency, whatever that means in practice. We'll just have to wait and see. In the same vein, Transtech have got the new Frog 218 FPV racer and comes with an Omnibus F3. It's got BL Heli S 30 amp ESCs, switchable VTX, and this time it's got a Runcam Mini Swift FPV camera. Although it's got the new color 2205 2600 kV motors, it doesn't seem to include a receiver like the Emacs. Still, it promises to be very interesting. This latest trend of really well-specced, very well-built bind and fly quads is great for the market. It makes me wonder how Impulse RC get on in the space occupied by the Vortex that's really being pushed out. But it means that we have a great choice of ready-to-fly quads to play with. Also new are the FlySight Falcon FG01 FPV goggles with a built-in DVR and HDMI input. Yeah, that's an input. These aren't cheap goggles, similar price to Fat Sharks really. They've got a proper built-in fan, much better eye distance adjustment, external battery capability and a range of detachable face and eye cups. It also uses a modular receiver so you can use Fact Shark or other receivers. And the Eshin EV200D 1280x720 72 channel True Diversity goggles are now apparently being tested by experienced users and are available to pre-order. I'm always a little bit wary of this type of product release. I never know whether to believe the reviews, but the spec for those looks outstanding at a great price. Almost too good to be true. Is it a fat shark killer? Who knows? The FPV goggles market is a difficult space and I've always loved the convenience of goggles, but still think they're overpriced and not quite the quality they really should be. Maybe the Eshin EV200Ds will be it. There's a new product announcement from FR Sky, the X-Lite 2.4 gig RC controller. There's not too much word from FR Sky about this yet, other than it's a game style controller, but with a really interesting spec. It runs OpenTX and has got Hall Effect sensor gimbals, internal and external antennas, supports external modules and headsets. It only has a few switches and no neck strap clip, 
This sort of makes sense if it's very light and is designed for thumbers rather than pinchers. There's no product release yet, but it's going to be interesting to see what eventually turns up. So, what can you buy for £25 or around $35 these days? 4S LiPo battery, an SD card, an FR Sky X4R receiver, large pizza. Gearbest have a flash sale at the moment, and if you're in the market for a tiny whoop, they've got this F36S mini brushed FPV racing drone for just £26. This outstanding deal is a bind and fly mini quad complete with an FR Sky receiver, an 800 TV line camera, a VTX, and an F3 flight controller with beta flight in a 65mm frame. There's only 45 left according to the Gearbest site, so you better hurry if you want one. If you found that useful, have any suggestions and want updates, please like and subscribe to the channel down here. It really does help me make better content. I'll see you next time.